Welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited because I am doing a wet and wild 4th of July makeup review. So, I have done my full face of makeup. Got this cute little thing I got on from Walmart that keeps sliding forward and driving me crazy. But I'm here to talk about Wet n Wild's new line that is called Photo Finish. Right? Photo Focus. Sorry. <laughs> it's called Photo Focus, and it is what I have done my makeup with today. Um, Wet n Wild has released this new makeup where they are claiming that the makeup has been tested under five, six, seven different conditions. I'm going to read those conditions to you now. It's been read under a clear blue sunlit sky, indoors in the PM, outdoors in the PM, an electronic flash, so like your iPhone flash or your camera flash, um, fluorescent lighting, bathroom lighting, because we all know we like to stand and do a good selfie, and nightclub lighting, because of course you want to go out and do your thing. So, I have bought Wet n Wild's foundation, powder, concealer, and eyebrow pencil, and that's what I have on my face now. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I think about it. So, I actually really like it. I was really kind of nervous. Number one, it was kind of tricky to pick the color in the store. I felt like I picked a foundation that was too dark, but I lucked out. It makes me look really brown, really nice, really love the Wet n Wild vibes. Um, it blended in really easily. It did not take a lot of product to put on to get full coverage. Um, their concealer was really nice as well. So this is what the foundation looks like. Wet n Wild oh, Photo Focus. Tricks today. And the color that I used was mahogany. And it has this really interesting kind of like paddle on the inside. I hope you guys can see that. That's how it looks when you take it out. So it's rather nice. Um, and that's Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Foundation in the color Mahogany. Wet n Wild is a cruelty-free um, company. Second thing I tried out from them was their concealer. And the color that I bought was medium slash deep tan. And that is 44B. Comes in this little thing right here. It's really cute. One side says Wet n Wild. The other side says it's your tracks today. corrector. When you open it, Bam. Looks like that. Okay, so then of course I also bought their powder, press powder, photo focus powder, and that is in the color Dark Cafe. Um, and when you open it up, it looks like this. I want to dare say that this is like a MAC dupe, but warmer because I have NC50 in MAC colors, and NC stands for neutral cool, which is supposed to be like your undertones. But I feel like that Sephora was wrong or the Mac store and I have warm undertones so when I put this on I was like yeah I was loving it because it just looked so good and it blended so easily but in any event this is the color it's dark cafe this is my powder it looks like this on the top all of their um, makeup has these like mod this little model on the back. I've got a sticker on here, so I'm trying to get it off before I show you guys. And their biggest claim to fame is goodbye photo flashback. So you know how you get on the gram and you get a really good picture. You you, you like pose, you put your chin up, and you you're like fierce bringing it right. And then the flash hits you, and you, you see a little concealer, you see a little highlight that you blend as well, and you see a little like flashback, and it makes your photo look like. Scary. So this claim to flame is that no flashback. So that's that, and they have this cute little model on the back where they show you how they are, you know, not having flashback issues. Um, so I also bought their Wet n Wild retractable eyebrow pencil, and it is giving me life. I really like it. Usually I either stick to Mac or an Elf pencil. That's my my two faves. But I feel like this could really be. Hopefully one of my staples if it doesn't wear off too quick and leave you with like half an eyebrow. Um, it comes out like this. It's got like a really weird shape, which I actually really like. It's got like this triangle shape, so you can use the points to really like really groom that eyebrow and really get it together. Um, I my hands are so dirty, excuse me, from the makeup that I've been doing. It's been a hot mess and it was no fun. But not the wet and wild. I tried to put up some eyelashes and like 
got in my eye and I got all over my fingers and it was a hot mess. But anyway, happy 4th of July, America. And happy 4th of July to all you guys, even if you're not in the U.S. Happy good day to you on this Wednesday, which is the 4th of July. I just wanted to come to you guys to do a quick review on the Wet n Wild products. I am really happy with them. I was really scared. I'm always scared to like like buy stuff that I'm not sure about that's like brand new. Like you want like people to like review it first and you're like, okay, I'll go spend my money. But I was brave. I spent about 20 bucks for all of this stuff at Walgreens, which is a drugstore if you guys don't have that where you're from. Um, and it worked out really well. I feel like the color matched me really well. The foundation was awesome. The powder was just a thing of beauty when it blended. Um, the concealer was really great. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't like, overly creamy. It was great. Um, I really have no complaints about this wet and wild photo finish look. And even with like um, taking pictures and taking selfies, it photographs beautifully. Even when you put it on, you're like, model but I could pretend today you know like you just you really get good vibes when you put it on so I'm really enjoying wearing it it's not itchy it's not scratchy it's good for contact lens wearers which is someone like myself or who's someone who wears glasses I'm cruelty free it's got those seven things that um it's claim to fame is it prevents the photo flashback um and I really want to be like this is a dupe for Mac in C50 because it's got great coverage it wears well it doesn't like wet off and make you feel like all clammy when you're like out on a hot day. I live in Georgia, the humidity here is real, so you have to get a foundation that is going to stick to you like glue. And I feel like this is one of those things. I really like it. This is not sponsored. Of course, every time you get on YouTube, you're like scared like, purchase your dress I am not sponsored by Wet n Wild, but Wet n Wild, I'll let me. Not just I'm not sponsored by Wet n Wild at all. I just literally was walking in Walgreens one day with Brand, and I was like, so that is my review. I'm gonna get the camera really close so you guys can see. Hopefully this doesn't look like crazy. But um, this is the makeup on. And this is it from far away. So as you guys can see, it looks really good. Um, no complaints as far as me. So if you got, oh, and it also has a large range of colors because that is super important for all of my followers. Some of you are not a brownie. <laughs> Some of you are a little bit lighter or a little bit tanner or a little bit ivory as the makeup companies like to put on there. So I did notice that they had a large range of shades, at least in my Walgreens. I was able to find the shades for the brownies like myself and then there were also another range of shades that were like ivory all the way to tan to like deep tan to like my color so don't let that um deter you if you feel like oh my god what mom never has my colors because i saw all the colors at my walgreens and it was super awesome um and they have like highlighters and eyebrow pencils and liquid liners and eyeshadow palettes and everything like wet n wild is getting it together in the game so if you like the way this foundation and this powder and this concealer and this highlight is popping up at you Please go to your local store and pick up some Wet n Wild and then we can be great together. If you guys already have this stuff, leave a comment below and let me know what you think about it. I again thank you guys for watching. My name is Cece now. Cece. Cece. Sinalis. And now it's time for me to tell you to do my favorite thing and that is subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So now that you've heard me sing and it was terrible. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell thing so you can know when I upload everything. I thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you guys for um, tuning into my review of the Wet n Wild products, which was this little quad that I bought, which I really enjoyed and liked, and I really enjoy wearing it. Um, so hit the like button and subscribe and tell me what you guys think, and I'll see you in my next video.